Hi everybody, I'm Virgil with Virgil Guitars. Today we're here with Contiki, my fifth build. This is an awesome guitar. This is a new model I'm introducing to everybody. Uh, for those of you who didn't know about this particular model that I came up with, I used some of the elements from my two previous models. Um, and the upper horn of this guitar, you're going to notice, looks very similar to the Dueling Dragons. However, the horn on that guitar came to so much of a sharp point, I wasn't able to put a strap button on the end of the horn. Uh, the strap button on the Dueling Dragons is actually on the back of the guitar. Uh, but I want to have it to be able to accommodate the strap button on here. So this is sort of the Dueling Dragons upper horn, and I used the Silver Willows lower horn on here, hence this new body. and. Overall, the shape did change somewhat and is a little bit more narrower than the other guitar. I also have introduced my new Seahorse six-in-line headstock on this build. This is pretty neat and I've used these shallower mini tuners, which is pretty awesome. Let's cover some of the woods that were used on this guitar. I really wanted to stay with three woods and two of the woods were going to be used as inlay as well. I really wanted to limit myself so I'd get this really nice contrast of Hawaiian koa wood and ebony. The back of the guitar, uh, the body here, is actually made out of African mahogany and so is the neck. Uh, they actually came from the same board and this is a set neck just like all of Virgil guitars. And the front of the guitar has book matched Hawaiian highly figured koa in the front and this is Gabon Ebony on the fingerboard here. The closer we take a look at this guitar, we're going to start seeing a little bit more of the detailings on here as well. For instance, I did all of these inlays on the fingerboard made out of koa wood. I actually used koa wood for the fret markers on the side dots as well. Down here, and you can't miss this tattoo-like symbol down at the bottom, is this is Ebony. The Gabon Ebony is pretty interesting. Most builders, when they use Ebony, they tend to dye it because they say, well, it's ebony, it has to be black. Ebony isn't really black. I mean, yeah, it's dark and it's, it can be basically black for the most part, but it also has a lot of white running through it and yellowish streaks you'll see through it as well. So when you look at this inlay down at the body, you're gonna see these white, it looks like, well, is it crusty, is it moldy? No, it's actually the natural ebony grain, and that's what it looks like, and that's what you get. And my, my uh, friend Mo down at Mo Colors did a wonderful job uh, doing the finish on here. The finish on this guitar is polyester, so it's a nice, uh, thick glass finish on here you're going to see. The, the guitar just has such a shine, it's incredible. Let's go over some of the detailings of this guitar. I did make these custom knobs. These knobs are kind of interesting because I, I sandwiched the koa wood with the ebony with koa wood and then I did an inlay of a little round button of ebony that had a little inlay of koa inside of that. And these two symbols are actually matching the symbols on the fingerboard as well. Another thing that uh, I'm not sure if most people would notice, but it is the same design up on the 12th fret that you see down here, okay? So I wanted to incorporate that somehow into this build. The next thing we have is our truss rod cover it is actually another piece of natural ebony. Down here, uh, we have our different control features, and I'm gonna be going over those in a second so you'll understand about the pickups on here. It had been uh, suggested because of these builds and what I was looking for tone-wise in these guitars. Looking for rock, maybe a little bit of blues, but maybe some cleaner stuff as well. That killer combination was prescribed by DiMarzio for Virgil Guitars, and we're now using these. It's the PAF 30th Anniversary in the neck pickup. In the bridge pickup, we're using DiMarzio Air Nortons. Okay. On the back of the guitar, you're going to see the paint on here. Uh, I decided to do this contrast thing, although it was pretty tempting to leave it natural wood, and I know there's some people out there, you should have just left it mahogany. This is a mahogany back, and it did look gorgeous. However, I was looking for this contrast thing going on with this guitar to be either koa or black. So when it starts at the body here, we see the koa, then it turns black. Over here on the neck, we go to this African mahogany. And the figuring end here is outstanding. Uh, when you look up at this close, you just, it's unbelievable. When we flip that around on the neck, we go to the black fingerboard, okay? 
Then we can go to the headstock. Now the headstock is obviously African mahogany, but I do have a laminate. It's almost an eighth inch thick of the Hawaiian koa on the front. We do have a really cool carve away feature right over here. And then on the back, it's black. So again, we have this really nice contrast. And you're gonna see that with the tuners, this thing just looks killer. I used, for the nut on this guitar, we have a uh, Graftech Tusk nut on here. And the tone on here is just incredible. So, let's listen to some of the sounds on Contiki. We're gonna go over some pickup settings and we have a music video for the Contiki. Thanks for checking things out. Position one, neck only, single coil. Position two, neck only, humbucker. Position three, neck and bridge, both single coil. Position four, neck and bridge, neck humbucker, bridge single coil. Position five, neck and bridge, neck single coil, bridge humbucker. Position six, neck and bridge, both humbucker. Position seven, bridge only, single coil. And position eight, bridge only humbucker. Position one, neck only, single coil. Position two, neck only, humbucker. Position three, neck and bridge, both single coil. Position four, neck and bridge, neck humbucker, bridge single coil. Position five, neck and bridge, neck single coil, Bridge humbucker. Position six, neck and bridge, both humbucker. Position seven, bridge only, single coil. And position eight, bridge only, humbucker.